and welcome to our latest episode here of Senior Spotlight. My name is Ben Pope and I will be joining you all as we get to know some of our graduating senior class here at Dean College just a little bit better. Today, I'm lucky to be joined by one of our co-presidents here at Dean News Network, Miss Emily Wallace. Emily, how are you doing? Ben, I'm so happy to be on this. It's crazy that you know I'm already on Senior Spotlight. These four years have flown by and you know, I'm very happy to be here, so thank you. I know you're very excited. You've been very nervous coming up to this, but yeah. I have very much confidence. Not even nervous. I just, I'm a little emotional because four years is a long time, yeah. um, and I've done a lot here, so I'm very excited to well, talk about it. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's why you're here. Good going to be talking about all your experiences. Yes. And just from my own perspective, you're actually one of the first people I met here at Dean. What? Uh, yeah, that's I never crazy. knew that. Yeah, uh, except as soon as they. You, Dylan, and like a few others. Talk, no way. But, yeah. Wait, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, wait, you tell the with, story. I'm telling the story oh, okay. right now. Okay, sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> um, well, I just talked about my first experience at Dean. Let's go back to your okay, first okay, experiences okay. at Dean. We'll tie in that. <laughs> That's very nice. Um, but talk about how you first discovered Dean yeah. and uh, how you found your passion here. Yeah, absolutely. So my journey at Dean started when I was 17. I went to an event called Behind the Stands at Gillette Stadium. My guidance counselor actually had told me about a college called Dean College, and I was like, yeah, okay, like, what's Dean? And then I found out that they actually have a partnership with the craft group, and, you know, 17-year-old me, I'm like, oh, my God, Patriots, sports, um, that I get to kind of pursue that and possibly have a job or an internship with the craft group. I was like, oh, my goodness, like, sign me up. So I went to Behind the Stands at Gillette. That's where I met John Rook, as we all know. Um, he is the head of the sports broadcasting program, and... He is the voice of the New England Patriots as well. So being able to hear from him and be like, oh my gosh, like I could learn from him, I was, I was absolutely sold. So yeah, so I started my career basically that way through Dean. Um, I went, I actually toured four times before I put my deposit wow. down to come to Dean. I know, I know. No, that's commitment. Like I, you're, you're really finding out like I was sold on Dean, no. but I was like, this is a lot of money and it's yeah. a lot of my time. I got to make sure that this is the place that I want to go. Very valid. So I kind of, you know, was like, I'm going to Dean, this is my thing. And so I basically came to Dean, and I'll be honest, I hated it. My first semester, I'm like, get a load of this place. I'm like, get, get me out of here. And then it actually took joining Dean News Network to make me stay at Dean and love it, where I met all my best friends and all of the wonderful people that are currently on this production right now. And, you know, four years later, it's pretty incredible that that's been my journey so far. Well, you mentioned Dean News Network. You are yes. the current co-president of yes. the club, which is... alongside Addie Graham. <laughs> yes, you and Addie are doing phenomenal <laughs> jobs. Thank you. And Thank you. I guess we can kind of uh, tie that into some of your other roles yeah. on campus. And what are, what are some of the things that you do? Which is a lot of things, uh, by the way. It's, it's... You're a busy person, Addie. I'm a busy gal, but never too busy for DNN, that's always for sure. Yeah. Um, so in the communications program, I'm also the music director of WGAO-FM Power 88, as you said, co-president of Dean News Network. Along with that, here at the Digital Studios, I am a Digital Studios assistant, um, where basically when Pete Ledger leaves for the night, that's where I come in and sort of take over the DMAC, I guess you could say, uh, rent out cameras, troubleshoot Pro Tools, Final Cut Pro, all that wonderful stuff. Um, so that's what I do in the communications program, along with being um, a student photographer as well. Aside from that, I'm also a community advisor in Woodward Hall. It's my third year of that. Orientation leader, then vice chair, and then chair of the orientation team. And then on top of that, also a student ambassador. I think that's everything. I, I, I can't everything. remember, but that's I think... A, that's I, a lot to cover. I think that's everything. Well, I know you do a <laughs> phenomenal job with most of those, if not all of them. And, yeah, no worries. Nice. Um <laughs> <laughs> and you talked about a little bit of your like first semester at yeah. Dean feeling a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah. Maybe go back into like where you were yeah. as that type of person. Do you think there's any big changes from where you were originally as yeah. a person and things that you've learned over your four years here? Absolutely. Um, freshman year me is almost like I don't even know who that person was. I was never one to get on camera. I can't believe I'm even on camera right now because it's taken me a long time. Um, but getting on camera, just doing all that stuff, it took me a long time. I think I just really needed to sort of get outside of my shell a little bit. And yeah. it took joining the orientation team and DNN to really, you know, 
have me become the the student that I've always wanted to be, and that's you know being confident in myself and being able to share you know what how how um not not even that but like being confident in myself and being able to talk in front of people. I hated public speaking, and you know this past weekend I just spoke at Accepted Students Day in front of 400, 500 people. Congratulations, so, oh, by the way. Thank you. Um, but it's definitely one of those things where like it took a lot of the leadership positions here at Dean to really get me out of my shell and to be the student that I've always aspired to be. Yeah, that's one thing that you're a great example of this, that Dean has so many different opportunities for people to really get out of their comfort shell and yeah. really take on leadership responsibilities that they might not have been able to do, whether it's at high school or maybe just a different college in general. Absolutely. So, yeah. For sure. Um, so you're talking about, you just talked at Accepted Students yeah. Day. Uh, you probably thought about some of your lasting memories and yeah. things that you're going to remember once your time at Dean is gone. Is there anything that really sticks out to you, at least right now? Like mass, like memories that I've had here yeah. at Dean? Oh, goodness. Um, one of my favorite memories here at Dean was my sophomore year. I actually entered a competition called My Dean, Why Dean? And that was an on-campus competition where you had to pick a course here at Dean and basically talk about what it means to you and why you enjoy it. And of course, I picked radio because two years ago, I thought I was going to be the biggest DJ around town. Um, but since then, it's definitely changed. Um, but yeah, I entered the competition. I put together a five minute video about myself, my experience, and I ended up winning first place in the competition, won $750. Wow. And oh, yeah, we, the award ceremony was right here in the digital studios. I, it was like November of my sophomore year, and I was, I was shocked that I even won that, but it was one of those experiences that, again, helped me sort of guide my way through Dean and get outside my shell and sort of, sh sort of show myself that, hey, I can do this, and I can make college exactly what I want it to be. Yeah, something that, like, you can really pick up. You can learn a lot from failure, but your first success is also something that oh, yeah. can really click, and oh, yeah. obviously that worked out for you is yeah. something that really stands out. It was one of those things where I was like, wait, I can make money for doing something yeah. I love? I was like, okay, I, I could I could get on with this. I like it. Well, before we wrap up, yeah. uh, I just want to give you an opportunity to talk about, you're good, don't okay. worry, to, just to talk <laughs> about uh, any opportunities that you have going on after uh, you graduate or any messages that you want to send out to friends, family, or any faculty. Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, gosh. Well, after college, I definitely want to do something that's going to make me happy. Right now, I'm still within the craft group, hoping to get a full-time position there, but again, willing to do whatever sort of the wind takes me. Um, but right now, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at, and like, like we've been saying, I have six weeks left before I graduate, but def I don't even know if I could say thank you to everybody who has gotten me to where I am today, but definitely thank you to DNN, and thank you to my family and friends for helping me get where I am today. I would not be the person I am today and the student I am today if it were not for Dean and everybody who has supported me along the way, so thank you. Well, I know I'm speaking for a decent amount of people in the room right now that we all want to thank you as well for the impact that you've had, not only on myself, but on a bunch of us as well. You've had uh, an amazing force on us, not only in DNN, but in a lot of stuff in general. So thank I want to thank you there. I appreciate that. No problem. So on that happy note, I'd like to thank you guys for joining me here this evening on Senior Spotlight. Emily, thank you once again for joining us, and we'll see you on the next edition of Senior Spotlight. Have a great night.